What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at what people had to say about the Clippers 25 point comeback over the Utah Jazz and Paul George's debut from his injury. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. We are getting so close to 5,000 subscribers. So this was an incredible game. The Clippers came back from being down 25 points, like I said earlier. If you were watching the Clippers for the first time today, you wouldn't have even known that Paul George had an injury. Anyways, this first tweet says, Paul George just straight up balling out there. He's back like he never left. Next, we have Paul George really the truth. I watched the Clippers come back from being down 20 like three times this game. Next, the Clippers tweeted, what a feed from Paul George. I think they're talking about that lob pass that he made. Paul George is playing like he hasn't missed more than one game. He was actually super efficient too, and he scored over 30 points. Next, this one says, the refs are just going to give this one to the Clippers. I swear every single video, the losing team always has tweets about the refs. Next, we have something about Rudy Gobert against the Clippers in LA always seems to get the best of him. Meanwhile, PG-13 with 31 points in this first game back in over 3 months, and he looks like he hasn't skipped a beat. I swear I told myself I wouldn't watch the Jazz anymore this season, then they give me hope like they have all season long with these massive leads, then they lose every single freaking time. The Jazz are a bunch of chokers, and I think it's looking like they're gonna have an early exit in the postseason again. If the Jazz lose, they should relocate to Seattle. The Jazz are going to fall to the play-in and miss the playoffs altogether. I don't think they're going to miss the playoffs, but they're definitely going to be an early exit. A few more left. This one says the Utah Jazz are blowing it. And finally, this tweet says the Jazz have another early playoff exit written all over them. That's what I've been saying the whole video. And I think they need to break up the team this offseason. So that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know what you thought about the game in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you all later.